Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Catherine's Plates, where it's simple, easy, and delicious. I'm glad to have you all here this morning. I know you are ready for some sausage gravy casserole. We've got some delicious things going on. So if you're ready, grab a fork, grab your plate, and maybe I'll give you a slice at the end. Okay, let's go over all the ingredients. I have eggs, milk, crescent roll dough, just comes out of the refrigerator, salt, pepper, some garlic powder. I have some, this is just a Jimmy Dean pork sausage. It's really great for making breakfast dishes. Butter, some flour, and I've got some onion powder. We're gonna start with a large skillet and we're gonna turn it onto a medium high heat and we're gonna add in our sausage. Over medium high heat, we're gonna place a large skillet. I'm gonna start placing my breakfast sausage in. Now this is one pound and it's a pork sausage. Now what's great about these is it's already seasoned. It's got good flavor. And it also comes in a hot variety. So if you wanna get that and add some heat to your dish, you can totally do that. So I'm just gonna take my meat chopper and then start breaking up my sausage while it's browning. Now, if you go into my blog, www.catherinesplates.com, and you do a search for sausage gravy, there's several things that I have done. I have the sausage gravy biscuits and egg casserole. I have the stuffed biscuits. That was really cool. My regular sausage gravy recipe. I have a sausage gravy recipe for the Instant Pot. So make sure you check these out if you want other ways to make sausage gravy and use it for different recipes. Once you get your sausage the size that you want it, if you break it up, you don't have to use the meat chopper anymore. You can just get a wooden spoon because that's what we're going to be doing anyway to start mixing everything together. Just make sure your sausage is cooked through. It cooks up pretty fast. There's not a lot of fat in it, as you can see. We are not going to drain that because that is flavor. The sausage is nice and browned up. What I'm going to do is add four tablespoons of butter. I'm going to follow the lines here. Which is half a stick of butter. Just place those in. We want to melt that into the sausage. Once you get your butter nice and melted, we're going to go ahead and add a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, whatever flour. This is just an all-purpose flour here. So we're going to stir this together. And we're going to cook this for one minute while continually stirring. Okay, I'm going to start adding in my milk one cup at a time. As each cup thickens up, add your next cup. going to add three to four cups. So make sure your heat is on a high heat. So we can continually bring this to a boil. All right, look at that. So delicious, right? Another half a cup of milk going here. I'm going to add the half a cup of milk. So I've got three and a half cups of milk in here. Let's go ahead now and start seasoning. I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of some onion powder, and we have some garlic. It's just garlic powder. Right, let's go ahead and stir that all up. 
cook this for a few more minutes until it gets nice and thick. Now make sure you give it a taste. When you take some, just blow on it a little bit. Mmm, that's good. Mmm, that's good. Alright, when it starts getting that thick right here, we're going to turn the burner off. Cool it down just a little bit while we prepare our crescent rolls. It'll thicken up. This will thicken up. Okay, you're going to need a 9 by 13 casserole dish, or if you have a 10 by 12, that's totally fine also. Or a 9 by 11. We're going to spray the sides and the bottom. We're going to take our crescent roll dough and pull it out of the tube. Now this is just an original in there. This is a, this eight count. Put it into my dish here and we're going to start unrolling it. Put one side of it at one end and then roll it out. Now if you can find the crescent sheet that's in the refrigerated section, it'll be right next to these, then you can use that for sure. This is easy. I'm just going to make sure that we pinch the edges if we need to, just like that. Okay, I've got my sausage gravy here. Nice, look at that. Nice and thick. What I'm going to do is pour this all into the bottom of the baking dish. All right, let's go ahead now and prepare our eggs to put on top of our sausage gravy. I'm going to put six large eggs into a medium bowl. We're going to add a quarter cup of milk, just a pinch of salt, like an eighth of a teaspoon, and some black pepper. All right, I'm just going to use my egg beater and start whisking my eggs. Oh yeah, that looks really good. We're going to pour this over our sausage and egg mix. Got one cup of some shredded sharp cheddar cheese, or you can use any flavored cheese you like. And I'm just going to cover the top of it. Okay, we're going to put our casserole into our oven that's been preheated at 350 degrees. We're going to cook this for about 45 minutes. You do want to check it around the 40 minute mark to see how it's going. The crescent roll should be totally cooked through. The egg should be nice and set and the cheese will be nice and golden brown. Okay, I've just pulled this out of the oven. You can see that the crescent roll, the dough, is nice and cooked and golden brown. It kind of puffed up around the edges. The eggs are set when you shake the pan here there's no movement of eggs and I went down into it with a knife and came back out and it's nice and cooked and nice and golden brown on the top with the cheese now this is the part where my family right now was looking at me like what we gotta wait <laughs> I'm just gonna wait a few minutes to kind of let this kind of pull itself together and then I'm gonna cut out squares and show you what it looks like on the inside all right I'm gonna go ahead now and cut a piece okay what do you think Mm. Well, that's an all-in-one bite right there. Mmm. Mmm. See how those eggs set up? That nice golden brown color on those crescents. Mmm. So good. And those eggs cooked all the way through. Look at that. Mmm. I know my husband's going to be happy. He loves anything with sausage gravy in it. <laughs> Let me know what you think of my sausage gravy casserole. I'm going to tell you what, we love this one. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you'll know when my shows are posted. You can also find me on Facebook and on my recipe blog, www.catherinesplates.com. I will see you on my next episode.